Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. I've just been collecting some birch here. We're on Xenocraft Season 3, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, I'm just collecting some birch, but I can hear... Listen. That wasn't one zombie. That was two. And... It's so hard. To if you're wearing headphones, it's really easy for to track where they're coming from. Aha. No. Aha, it might be. This is definitely it. I was wondering if this was another spawner. It might not be. It might not be a spawner. But I definitely heard more than one. That's for sure. So, I haven't done anything in between last and this episode. Uh, I was thinking about doing some strip mining. I think I will do later on. Okay, there's the second zombie. I think I will do later on because I'm not really bothered about about strip mining. We only really need diamonds for enchanting. I'm not we don't really even need it for this is a pretty good cave. I'm gonna make sure I remember where this is. Um we don't really need it for hey hang on. How do I get out? Up there. <laughs> we don't really need uh, diamonds for armor or weapons and stuff like that. That's not really that necessary. Uh, but we do need it for enchanting. We definitely need it for a diamond pickaxe at least. So we can mine obsidian. Now, th uh -huh, is that? That's cobblestone there. Oh, no, that's the one that we've already found, isn't it? That's the... Yeah, we've already got that one. Okay, no problem. I thought maybe there was another spawner nearby. It'd be quite funny because that'd be right near that other spawner as well. I think we've got three of them. I also noticed while I was on my way over here that there is a donkey. I was hoping to come back through here. I, I harvested a few birch trees over here. I was hoping to get some saplings back. Wonderful. And then we're being economical we're being green about our area i think there was some more over here as well i'll kill the cow food situation isn't great <laughs> oh i'll admit that we we're sort of just barely keeping up with it we know that there's some a backup food at the oops uh, at the village we know we can get some taters and some um carrots and stuff like that if we really need it the trouble is, is i haven't actually done enough breeding on these cows to sort of get us to that floating stage of having enough breeding and enough food to survive uh, it's it's pretty tough so i killed a few pigs while i was out there and a couple of cows so we can cook those up today to get us through but there is a question that i want to ask you recently i've been doing a lot of rambling episodes not deliberately but just while while we've been playing i've been distracted Look at my inventory and chests. I've been distracted by telling stories and stuff. And that obviously... Um, <laughs> uh, that, that obviously has uh, impeded what we've been doing. In an, well, not what we've been doing, but it's impeded what we've been talking about in an episode. Because obviously we've been distracted by other stuff. Just seeing what I can bung back in here, if anything. Nope. What about this one? Oh, I've got a few spire spots in here. Okay, wonderful. That should be good. I'll need all the other stuff. That and that. I've got seven of them. Uh, I had some wheat, wheat in here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we've been doing these rambling episodes recently. I want to know, what do you guys think? Do you guys mind having a rambling episode every now and again? Do you even prefer rambling? Let's go in there. Do you even prefer rambling episodes where we talk about a topic while building... Uh, I know some of you like that sort of thing. I know some of you obviously uh, aren't quite as much of a fan of it. Huh, get out. Okay, we made it. Um, I just want to sort of hear a, a majority vote in the comment section. Do you mind it when I go on to a ramble? <laughs> Comments below. Let me know. Do you mind? Like last episode, for example, we talked about Tomb Raider for like the whole episode. Oh, I forgot about the donkey. I want to get him back. Um... We have a saddle, don't we, that we can bring him back with somewhere. This chest? Yes. Saddle. Just so I can bring this donkey back, because I do love my donkeys. And they do come in very, very handy. Plus, they really suit the Western style. Uh, so we should definitely grab him, at least just to keep in there as, a, as decoration. He was just over here last time I saw him. Where was he? There he is. 
Yeah! Okay, so if I jump on him first... He's got a lot of health! For a donkey! Oh, you'll love me! You know you'll love me! Love me! Love me! No! You know what you gotta do? You gotta speak very gently to them. Shh! Shh! Stroke his face. Shh! I ain't here to hurt you. You're gonna have the bestest time with me. You watch. Ah, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Just wrestle it. Wrestle it until it loves you. There we go. Okay, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> and now we have Donkey. Wonderful. Uh, where do we put him for now? Do we put him in with the cows? He is slow. This is slowest donkey ever. I think this is even slower than walking. Am I right? It feels so slow. Can he go through here? No, he can't. He, they are two blocks wide. Okay, can I bung you in a hole somewhere? Not with a skeleton. That seems unfair, doesn't it? Hey, how's it going, Billy? I hope you're doing well. Billy's staying there because he'd drive me nuts otherwise. Let's put Donkey up here. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's safe in there. Am I right? I'll give him some light because I'm a nice person. Okay, he should be safe in there. He's also got my saddle. I should probably take that off him in case he does die. No, he shouldn't die. He should be safe, shouldn't he? So last episode, we started on the clock tower here. Now, I love the tower part. And the clock part. I think it looks so cool. But these two here. They're just too low at the moment. I think I said at the end of last episode. We definitely need to make it taller. Like that, that part of the body taller. And I stick by that after coming back after a few days. It looks so short. So what we're going to do. Is add another. Not up there. That one is add another window above here. This will make it two blocks high with uh, two blocks between each window, so it should still look pretty cool. And then we're gonna grab some spruce. Yes, yeah, spruce here. To go across the top and up this section if I can. Like that and like that. Yeah, see, that's a much better height. I much, much prefer that. I think that looks pretty cool, right? And then we'll have that going around the side. This will work out really well for when we do the roof as well. It'll actually give us something to put on. We might even change that part of the roof if we like this one better. But that's a much, much, much better height, especially for villagers. Villagers sort of have their own scale, don't they? They don't, they don't run on, on like a normal house building scale. You sort of build them to suit villagers. So you make them a little bit smaller. It's really, really funny. So let's have this come back here. We don't want any windows along this side. I mean, there's a mountain there. There's nothing to look at anyway. Uh, but how far back do we want to go? We want to go a little bit further back than the clock tower section. So I think to there is actually a good spot. And uh, we could have a window on the back here. Obviously, we've got to uh, take away the sand that's underneath it. But we could have one window there. And then one window to match up with the other side would be, oops, right there. So it's two blocks on that side, two blocks on that side. Only one on the front, so then that way that they're, they're slightly off centre. It'll hopefully give a little bit of character to it. It's not that I've placed it wrong. I saw it's what we want. Okay, something like that. And then this side could have a window if we wanted to. But, it depends, where do we want the staircase? Because obviously this is two stories and I would like to keep it, or, or use it as a two story house. So we're going to have to have a staircase in it. Grab some more of these. So this staircase, we could put the staircase on that wall, since it's a blank wall. We could have it on, well we can't really have it on that wall. It's hard to have it on this wall with this window here as well. So I might take that window out, and then we can have the staircase up the back wall. That'll give us the most room then as well. 
Take these out. I need some of this anyway. It's always nice to have some of these to fill in the holes that we've got around this area. And there. Damn it! <laughs> That's another reason why we need diamonds. They don't break as easy, but... If we even use um, iron ones and then just enchant iron tools, they won't, as long as we get unbreaking, they won't break anywhere near as quick uh, anyway. So that should help. That should help. And once we get the staircase, we won't have to do as many pillaring either. So we want it to go up to that height and then a ring of this, of this, logs around the outside it was my own footsteps i truly got scared by my own footsteps who who does that <laughs> who gets scared by their own footsteps uh spruce yeah i don't think we've got enough wood to finish it off completely today but we should get a huge chunk of this done this is a very important building we should probably start laying out our blueprints of where we want other buildings to go as well so we're not building it sort of off the top of our head every episode now we don't want any windows on the second floor here because of the same reason that there's a staircase there but we could definitely put a window above uh this one somewhere uh let's grab some more of these yeah i'm gonna need more spruce i do i have any more on me dark oak dark oak dark oak okay no problem there. and then this is the window one like that and um we could i don't think i want a window down here i don't I, I can't see the point of having a window down here so we should leave this as a blank wall as well for this section i'm actually going to do that and that and then i'm going to take this corner one away that way i think it looks good we can put a fence or a cobblestone wall or something like that to to add something to that corner uh what's happened here oh yeah uh, 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 uh. and i've got it on that side wonderful okay so i've only got three left i might as well not put them down but yeah we do need something there but like a cobblestone wall or a fence would definitely look the best it looks like it's sort of a, a block missing at the moment but boy that looks so much cooler doesn't it okay let me very quickly work on a roof i think it's going to be a very low uh sort of slabbed roof I'm going to put it down and then I'll come back to you guys. We'll see how it is. And then we'll figure out some sort of blueprint for this area uh, after that. Okay, I should be back. I'll give some food too. Okay, that. I re Hello, Enderman. That looks sick. I like that. I, I It's just a slabbed roof. It's not hard. Just uh, looped it around on one layer. Looped around on the second. Looped around on the third and kept it at that height. I think that looks really nice. The block choices that we're going for with the birch and stuff, I think is really, really good. Did I look at that enderman? No, I didn't. Let's now sleep away the night and we're out of spruce. So I need to go over to the closest, or I think it's the closest. I'm not sure if it is or not. It's not terribly close, unfortunately. Um, it's over that way somewhere to uh, a little taiga area but from i think from what i remember it's also by the biome that we want to actually end up building our base in so let's oh no one got out okay he'll be sacrificed let's feed these as well oh man we have to go back to the uh village soon to grab some more <laughs> wheat okay and you're a sacrifice i'm afraid you this will teach you for escaping. No, come back. <laughs> okay, we don't have, like, no food, unfortunately. Um, I've got all the food on me that we have. Let's put those in there. At least we get more than one from them. That's a benefit. Okay, so let's go over there. We'll see if we can find that biome that we want to actually build our base in. And if we can, maybe we'll be able to sort of pinpoint the exact spot that we want it in. It's I had an idea as well because I was thinking about or I have been thinking from the very start of this um, what do I want my base to actually be you know um, last time we done a uh, underground base which was really really cool really really fun to do but I don't want to do the same thing this time I have nothing wrong with having an underground base uh, I really did it was very very handy but I don't want to do the same thing twice in a row I think it's this way I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's this way. 
Oh, another black horse. Where is that black... Is he still in here? He is. Good. You stay in there. Wonderful. Um, now, he can stay out there. He'll be fine. So, yeah, I was thinking about how, how do I want to do it. Um, and uh, we, we found the biome that I think is beautiful that I want to have it in. There it is. It's over there. That I, that I want to have uh, our base in. But I, I'm still unsure on what I want to do. And then I thought... And then I thought, the biome that we're trying, that we want to build this in, is a uh, really tall treed biome. It's a technical mesa biome, or a technical tiger biome, I think, um, because it's, it has the big spruce trees in it. Um, but I was wondering if you guys thought it'd be a good idea to have giant tree houses as our actual base. I think it would be pretty cool to do i really really do now if this isn't by our base i shall because i might have been mistaken i shall harvest some spruce trees that we need anyway and then i'll head back to spawn because we saw it between spawn and our mesa biome so it has to be in between those two now nah, that looks like yeah this is it i was right i thought i was right I thought I was right, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's a technical um, biome. I'm not sure. I don't know what the biome's technically called or, or what the actual biome's called with the cobblestone in it. It might have its own biome name. In fact, pretty sure it probably will. Ooh, get him! Get him! Smite them all nearby. I know we can jump to do more damage, but it's two hits with an iron sword anyway. I think they've weakened it up because I'm pretty sure it was three. Maybe they adjusted it. Oh, and something you guys might not have noticed. You know, before you could hold down block and spam your right trigger in order to um, get it to swing and block at the same time? You can't do that anymore. Like, I'm swinging. Listen. I don't know if you can hear that on the mic, but it doesn't work. Um, yeah, you can't block and attack at the same time anymore for PvP. You can attack and... Ow. You can attack and block at the same time sort of thing to get a very sort of similar effect. Like, like that. It sort of does a very similar sort of style thing. Uh, but it's not exactly it. But yeah, this is the bar. Now, how big is this? This looks pretty sizable. Oh, look at this area. With the river going through it. Imagine like a tree house joining up to these ginormous trees. They're like jungle trees, but in a, in a beautiful biome. Really, really nice biome. We've got some uh, space here, some sort of openish space to be able to build some stuff in. And yeah, imagine bridges going across the lake, like hanging wooden bridges. We can have one tree house with a nether portal in it. One tree house will have our sorting system in it. The only problem with doing tree houses is redstone. Redstone becomes a little bit tricky because you have nowhere to hide it. When you redone last season with it all underground... It was super, super easy to do redstone because you could just hide it in the cave. How beautiful is that? A little oasis. You could just hide the redstone straight into the wall of the cave and never see it or, or worry about it again. That was a huge benefit. So maybe we'll still have to do our storage system underground because we want an automatic storage system on this playthrough. Some pigs. We want an automatic storage system on this playthrough, so it probably will be quite worthwhile doing that underground. Plus, it keeps it quite secretive, doesn't it? We can have the entrance from a tree house or something, a cool entrance to get into it. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice to have a look around this area. I haven't, I don't think I've been in this specific biome before on our map. A few little sort of cave surface caves looks like there might be some actual caves over there as well let's have a look in some of these while we kill these cows they might not go down it wouldn't um i wouldn't be surprised if it didn't what's a bunny rabbit oh it's so cute kill the bunny kill it oh did we get no we didn't get a foot i thought maybe we got a rabbit foot from that then uh you can use those to make potions of leaping which would be sick to have in a uh, tree housed area like this see already we've already got like a storage area part carved out here we could very easily convert this into a a storage place 
and just have it down here. It's right where we sort of want it. Yeah, I think this is it. I think we're going to do tree houses in this biome for our base with a storage system underground. We can have enchantment up in trees. Uh, we'll probably end up having the enchantment in the end when we eventually kill the ender dragon and find the, the end portal, which apparently isn't too far away from that village that's near us, according to you guys. But then again, you guys told me about a ice spike biome, and that was a lie. <laughs> Two people lied to me. Now, probably, there probably is some sort of mess up on the seed or something like that. I don't know. There must be some reason behind why you guys are seeing some different things to me. Whoa, that piggy. Do you see that glitchy piggy? Okay, anyway, I'm going to collect up some spruce. I shall see you back at base. Okay, then. What a productive episode we've had today. We now know what we're doing with our base and where we're going to do it and run through some sick ideas. I'm actually really looking forward to making our base. I've been holding it off because I didn't really know what to do and how I wanted it to go. But now... Now the plan's all coming together, and I think it's going to be sick. I want cobblestone walls in those corners. I haven't got any cobblestone on me, unfortunately. Uh, but cobblestone walls in the corner there, I think, would look totally awesome. Um, fence posts in the window. Maybe some brown stained glass here and there would be pretty good. I don't know where the nearest jungle is. We're pretty central to all the biomes. We might have even come through a jungle to get here from spawn. I don't know. I'll have to have a look around. Uh, but definitely, we've got like all the biomes really, really close. It's really, really nice uh, for that. Uh, but this is looking sick. I'm really, really liking it. Unfortunately, we haven't got time to blueprint out the rest of the houses and buildings. Uh, but hopefully, off camera, I'll be able to get some more buildings done. Uh, houses, at least. Small houses with this sort of clay design to really fill it out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button if you haven't already then please subscribe. I'm going to go feed my cows and we should kill them off next episode and go and grab some more. There's so much to do. The list of things for this series at the moment is so long. It's crazy. I also killed one slime on the way, but I thought I killed more than that, but obviously not. <laughs> I was going to say, I got some slime balls, but no, I got one. What a shame. All right, guys, I shall see you in the next episode. Bye!